One of Asimo's weaknesses was that it could only walk on a smooth indoor surface. Engineers made quick modifications for disaster sites. Now the robot can travel over gaps and uneven surfaces. A new test course mimics a disaster site. Engineers will test the prototype's motor skills and judgment on this unfamiliar proving ground. The robot will pause here. No, that would be pointless. The prototype negotiates uneven floors and large gaps without hesitation on its first try. It's a major step forward. Turn off the lights. Disaster sites are often dark, and it's impossible to see. This robot doesn't rely on visible light. It uses infrared sensors to spatially confirm its surroundings. It scans the floors for irregularities, then automatically determines the right position and angle for its feet. All the operator has to do is instruct the robot which way to go. The engineers have not set a completion date. It could be one year from now, or three. But they are committed to getting the robot to areas in need as soon as they possibly can. Just like Astro Boy, the humanoid in an animation series, who flew into the sun in a suicide mission to save the Earth.